for a while. I think he was injured for a while. Yeah. But that ball like is a bad ball like my boss. And him come out from the field, he was far. He made taxi look like a back way, man, you know. Him quick. Yeah. His, inju his injury, remember in Ryan, what I said to you? You see, uh, every squad I put up on your screen, I said, Greg Lee is my starter. Because yeah. the best football Jamaica played was that series of game in Saudi Arabia. And Greg Lee won the starting job from Taxi Lawrence. Yeah. Because he, he, he has a lot of pace. Even if he get beat, he, he can recover very well. Even with Jamaica. He goes Brown, forward better than Taxi. That's the thing. Taxi is part of the long ball problem. If you look yeah. at Taxi, even though Mikel Antonio scored, that was one of the big long ball them happening for drop on Mikel Antonio foot, you know, from, from Taxi. You know. It's that same kick it and run thing. And I think that even Javine Brown, he, for me, he didn't he, he he got seven out of ten for me. And why he he made a lot of errors, but I see potential where if you if he if he misses if you beat him, he has the speed to recover. And that was the problem with Alvas Powell. When Alvas Powell gets caught out of position, he didn't have the recovery speed anymore. You can see he's getting older, he's getting tired. But Javin Brown couldn't get 10 minutes on the park until yesterday. So <laughs> it comes back to what is he really seeing? A player who's playing week in and week out for Vancouver. Yeah, man. What are you long on the shot here? What's it now? How many points do we have? Six? Is six or seven? Six? Seven points. Seven. Seven from what? Seven from eight games. Mm -hmm. That's not good enough, brother. That's not good enough. That's squad like where we have. Right? At every game, we play eight games, it's eight different starting lineup. We have to play game number nine. And we me sitting on the stadium before that game against Mexico. It's guess we're gonna guess who are gonna start. We can't guess probably half of the team who are gonna start. But we don't know the other eight we're going to stop. Those are signs of instability and inconsistent team selection. See? You know, the next you don't know who. Yeah, continue, man. But you don't know who will play from, from game to game. You see me, I said, that is an issue, brother. That is a big issue with Tapa. Something we've been talking about a long time. But we kind of glass over, card man, and we take out the pickaxe stick for rush me. And say, Lord, the coach. So we say, all right, brother. See, but them suck that did a long time. We can't see them, brother. You understand me? We, you know, we can't see them. I mean, the, 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 the MO of the team. Let me tell you something. Me, me get, me didn't get to a stage one time when me stop arguing with Tap about creative mid and all them stuff, you know. Because I just came to realize that, look, if you can call it a philosophy, but this man are not going to play the kind of players on the park willingly. See, that people like me and you once upon the park. Top a player them as some man we are gonna run up and down and tackle and pressure the ball and all them something. If the one the creative ball up on the field where I'm gonna say lazy and lose the ball and no run back. So me just resign myself, say, look here. You see, I listen with Maggie and Lemar Walker. I don't think a top of genuinely I pick them ball and the whole time out, you know. I pressure my top and put them ball on the on the field, you know. Can the ball and the other top of ball of them, and the top of kind of ball of them. If you want the ball on the field, he would have got Tapa ideal with a love of Grant, six of Grant, four of Aka, and probably two of Speedy Williams. And that Tapa would have like. But it don't make no sense in football terms. Now, when you have a team like Jamaica, a squad like Jamaica, with so many good out and out forwards and number nines, when you have your squad with that kind of top heavy offensive first members, Without the proper midfield support, those guys are going to be redundant. Especially, you know, so kick, kick up the ball. So, the man in our get no chance. You know, see, Shaman because he run till him, till he must have shit spin on him, run up there, you know, and now get no chance. <laughs> if Mitchell and Tony never pick up a ball and a loose ball eh, and beat the man and kick it at the goal, he would not get no chance. If in the El Salvador game, he never pick dispossess the El Salvador defender over the left flank and pick up the ball and run past three of them and slot it. He would not get no chance. No build up play, no structured offensive moves, no interchanging, no sneak pa slick passing to open up defenses. You don't, we don't see that. That is bush football we are playing, brother. Kick and run football we are playing. So we agree with you now. We have to put aside now. See? Thank you. But yeah, yeah, um, yeah. my yeah. thing, you know, right. my right. thing, you know, Taylor, is man management of the superstar. 
Tapper cannot yes, do. Yes, yes. Yeah, he yeah. cannot do it. You know that someone linked me after the game in a El Salvador and said, yo, Bailey only can play 60 minutes and tap have him out there. And the next thing against USA the other day, that I yesterday, Bailey, team own self, you know, he might come out. How can you as a player, we at 1-1 one, one, are we trying to go in for a win with two minute leave? And you have the audacity for tell the coach you want to come off. Me I said, me feel a little tweak still. Somebody told me that he felt a little tweak. Yeah, he, you saw that he had. And and, and I understand. Because you, you understand. That's why I'm asking the change. He's a 30 million pound player, Ryan. And playing for Jamaica, who potentially is not going to the, the, the world. World Cup, do you really want to risk your career? Because he's under a lot of pressure at Aston Villa as well. So, no, man, it no matter who you out. play for, how much it costs. If you feel a tweak in your hamstring, man, you have to come off, man. You don't know that as a ball at Ryan, man. Uh, you can push hamstring yeah, straight, yeah, remember? Well, look at Damien Low Tracy. Look at Damien Low Tracy. Look at Damien Low. You know, see them man, they get worse, tack around. You see them man, they put on thing on him foot. No, man, if a oh, hamstring, you come off, man. If a hamstring, you come off, my boss. You can't play with hamstring, my boss. Right, if you get a knock and all them something, you can stay on the field, you know. Tracer, but if you feel I, the hamstring tongue, you're going to come off. I'm hamstring. Leave me alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, Leon Bailey, that was his hamstring. So, so you see... Yeah, I heard it was his hamstring. The, the Honduras game, to me, was one of the games where we finally looked like we tried some different things and we were getting opportunities. Where we looked like... At we did? Points we were, yeah, uh, the Honduras game, we got... A good Honduras, a good, my boss. We don't know nothing different. They, they never good, but no, that was the first time I saw Jamaica look like going forward. A lot of times we had three at the back. We had players doing this kind of rotation where we had Fisher pressing in the midfield as a winger. Yeah, yeah. I think we started three five. We started three five two. I think in another game. We yeah. Started. Uh, and we yeah. were different. I said to Ryan, I'm I said, play Ryan that again. if we see Fisher in a flat back four against El Salvador, it tells us a top of chip lick again because that's how it works you know it, for tapa is one step forward two step backward he doesn't really build on what he got right the last time and say okay it look like we got this thing right let me just tweak it and just make some wholesale changes which just confuses everybody and ryan you said it managing stars it takes a certain skill yeah as well you're right i think when some of the stars sit on the bench and watch how Tapa manage the game, they lose his they lose respect for him. They see that this man actually can coach. Because if I'm on the bench and you have Lamar Walker out there, you see Lamar Walker try to score the ball after Mikel Antonio scored it in the open net and him still kick on it. You might think with the ball like Lamar Walker still. Come have a lot of time for Lamar Walker. No? But I, I, them you, you see a youth like Lamar Walker and to a lesser extent, Tariq McGee as well. Those you have to expose them you there in the in the build up and the development stages to your World Cup campaign. You can't throw the money in the fire. So well, you, you can't, but it's risky if you just show them young, inexperienced player there right in the fire. Them you they should not play the World Cup, play some minutes in the World Cup, play some minutes in the Nations League. So when they when they get to this stage now, they are better developed players that play with more confidence. Lama walk up on the field and look like him don't want the ball, you know. Like him don't confident in his in in ability to go, go deep and fetch the ball and all them. So they may have a lot of time for Lama walk up. I'm on my little ball and them that, you know. But if you have a build a creative player, you can't build it from Walker and Maggie. But you have to give them games so that they can get confidence. You, you throw them in a, in a, in a, throw them in the wall like that. It's risky, man, and you can destroy them confidence. See, so, you know, maybe, 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 it's part of the lack of continuity and preparation that you can't be searching, searching for players in the middle of a World Cup campaign. None of the other team have done that. The other team have settled. Mm -hmm. Jamaica team has settled. That's why we look so. Yeah. But Tapa made a, a bold statement, Ryan, in, when the Gold Cup started. And I felt like this was going to come back to her and Tapa. Tapa said the Gold Cup has been eluding him for so long and he's here to win it. So I, I, I was thinking to myself, so Tapa actually thinks he has the team to win the Gold Cup. 
So when I saw that we lost in the Gold Cup, then Tapa said he saw a lot of positives. I said, Ryan, we have to get rid of this guy. He's confused. He, he's confused because you're going in with the team that you said you, you have a strong enough squad, but you're not using the players correctly. In the Gold Cup, we had Tyreek Maggi had a, his best game against Costa Rica right before the, 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 the quarterfinal. He not see about the field at the quarterfinals. And the game was dying out for, uh, it was asking for a creative player. So it just tells me that Tapa is always one step behind when it comes to making that cutting decision. And now where football is, you need a coach who will stop you all in the first half. That's how football is now. You can't keep players True. out there to hurt the team. And Because Tapa just, for me, you've seen it, Mr. Tracy, that it's only 70 minutes on the 70 minutes mark yeah, to make yeah, substitution. Yeah, well, you have any explanation yeah, well, for that? No, man. And uh, 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 look here. What made that worse? You know that in these conquer qual qualifiers, five substitutions you have, you know. Five. Let me say you can't start some people from 30 minutes in the bus. Can you have five? You can make two first half substitutions and three left still in the bus. I was flabbergasted in the SM game, you know. Sell so the man never make me change his half time and go for the three points half time, you know. The man waiting 70 and minute, me said, judge, 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 what the part think about? And him come back in the game against you, he say, it's when him see Pulisic and the other guy are going for the field, you know. We see him host up and start calling him something, you know, react now, you know. Instead of being yeah, proactive. He's a reactive. He was oh, reacting sorry. to the, the, the American changes, you know, the boss. So you're right about that observation. It's one of the worst. It's one of, the, it's one of his biggest negatives, that. His inability to make tactical changes during the game. He's awful at that, brother. Awful. Probably if he's a good motivator, we can rile up the ball and the, and the ball and they respect him because he was a playing legend. But when it comes to tactical adjustments during a game, Tapa gets zero out of ten for that. Remember me tell you. People in the chat, you soon not come hear it from Mr. Ora Tracy. I really think, man. They can't, they, they can't, they me, can't I said this too, no, from the Gold Cup start. From the Gold Cup start. You see, you know, come hear it from somebody else, guys. It's just obvious. Tapa just let the game drag on. It, the game just drag on till you lose steam. You just lose steam and then a team just score on us in the 80th minute and we lose the game. All you time. have to be proactive, Ryan. Affect the game with the piece that the, 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 the game required. Kemar Roof. If Kemar Roof didn't get injured in El Salvador, Mikel Antonio might not even play. <laughs> exactly. That's the funny thing. You get, Mikel Antonio is there talking to Ravel Morris and you can see them laughing because they, they, they're probably thinking, a joke thing this? This is a joke thing. Let me tell you another thing too. Another. Tired out there. Continue, continue. Well, go ahead, go ahead. That was... Uh, uh, that was no, a... just another mark against Tapa again. Another of his negative traits again. He plays too many of the players out of position, my boss. Yes. He, that, that's another major flaw in his execution. Kemar Roof is not a number, number 10, you know. Kemar Roof is an out-and-out -out striker, you know. That's where he plays for his club, you know. But he tried him there because of the team and balance. And he played a fair game against the one in, in Honduras. So he carry him back now and start him now against El Salvador. Having a poor game, looking shabby in the position, and you refuse to take him off. You see what I'm saying? Corey Burke. Corey Burke, who made that mistake against El Salvador. Koiberg is a number nine in the boss. Out and out, number nine. But because we have, we have, you know, a, a plethora of number nines, Tapa does decide him up to find a place and slap Koiberg. So he start playing Koiberg at wing. Same thing with Jonah Flemings. Jonah Flemings is not really a winger. See, but Tapa play these guys in the positions where they are not comfortable. See, I think that is another major issue, you know, with. We mean, it, 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 it might seem simplistic, but these little details add up my boss. You see? It? Yeah. And Big alliances. Up. Alliances, Ryan and Mr. Tracy. I feel like that's what, that what was one of the things that destroyed the team. It seemed like Tapa has this alliance with some of the players because it, there's no way you can explain to me why you're going to have an O'Neill Fisher starting with a Jav Javain Brown who is playing for Vancouver week in and week out as a starter, beating out top players from Portugal for his starting position. And he can't get 10 minutes for Jamaica. That doesn't yeah, add up for the rest of us. You know what I mean? You have a Juna Fleming from a USL. 
now you left a, 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 a Jamal Law who is on form right now in the championship. Him can get a call. But when brother. he does get a call, him get him, him get him 20 minutes and we bench him back again. So, guys, yeah, that's yeah. what I was saying to you guys before this campaign start. I said, check in with your doctors. Because Tapa will give you a high blood pressure. I want to see it. I see the fans them are hurt. But I want to get what I was saying. Sometimes you can't kick the can down the road. And we try this kicking the can down the road. Tapa just give a look at drama chess and then the fans them. So, All right, Tapa no bother out. Him kind of get me one point. But no, guys. He did yeah, change as a coach. Yeah. He did it. That, that, that result in Honduras, I think, saved him still, you know. Because the guillotine did out from, the, from before the result. But, you know, my understanding is that the chairman of the technical committee went on that trip with a letter. <laughs> they, they denied. But my understanding was that they got on the fire during the Honduras game, thinking that they would have lost. And the, the, the team put in a shift and beat up on the rest of love, and they, he got a stay of execution. Right? So, um, I don't know, I got the impression again that the game against USA, this game, being the final game in the window, that there was an ultimatum again to get a positive result in this game after what happened in El Salvador. I never happened so. That is why this, them have this ongoing meeting here right now. Um, at the technical committee where now looks so boys if it tapa. Big up Tennessee Lewis. Why said Jesse Tapa never wanted the English players in the team. Where is Tennessee Lewis? Oh, you know that, my boss. If he wanted them, he could push for the players from a long time. Oh, we don't know my boss. Big up Tennessee Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah, he's a hey, Tennessee. You never burn the fire, you know. But really, I'm truly, man. Yeah. Why, may I tell you, we're all at the first. Yeah, in the press, it, man. Well, Big kid, my boss. Bridget. I just threw me a happy, me a happy go lucky Bridget, you know, so me, me kind of a whole happy face. But, you know, my heart, man, so I'm going to lay down on my bed at night time, man. You know, so I lay down on my bed at night after the El Salvador game and shut my eye to sleep. And we see, it's like we see Corey Burke and Taxi over there. I watched the inside of the ball up. I just I, I line up himself and met the square. And we jump up out and we see that and say, tackle, tackle, press him, press him. You know? <laughs> tell the brother, man, you know, this thing is normal. And the square go across and the body. The, 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 <laughs> we jump up out and we be sleep. Brother, and say, press on the cross, don't make the square come across. <laughs> Square come cross and the man muck it and the net. Lick out the stuff in out of my belly, brother. Crazy. Yeah, man, that's all that's up there. 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 Yeah, man. Because I, you see, I, we get that three points, Ryan. Right? We don't be... get that three points. The USA, moment they would have carried on this American team, they would have played harder than all them players there. And probably not get the three points from America. And if we didn't get yeah, the points, that... It would have been forget yeah. the points, guys. That'd be four. But, yeah. but the problem is, Ryan, Tapa keeps... Listen, guys, I understand that. But for me, Tapa keeps his job if we get that three points. This is the problem. Yeah. The, the head Yeah, yeah, you're is, right. You have to fix the problem. We can't keep putting a bandaid and a gunshot wound, guys. Mm -hmm. We have to get the surgery done. And the surgery is to remove Tapa from the team mm -hmm. and, and get somebody in, in there who can... Put the football on the ground where Jamaica could actually has the football for at least 10 seconds. Jamaica cannot keep the football for 10 seconds, Ryan. We no. can't go forward with this. We can't. Football is no longer played the old Kanga Cup style of man marking where you have man a fly down. That's not how football is anymore. No, midfielders are the, the core of teams. No, teams, midfielders are like strikers now in football. But Tapa don't use midfielders. We defend that just skip the midfield and say, yo, we're just our midfielders are just defenders, basically. You ever see Tapa play? You ever see Tapa right. play? Tapa you ever see him play? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever saw him play? Me see him play. Yeah, my boys. I know need bigger time. Tapa so midfield. Mind. Tapa was a midfield maestro, you know, brother. Yeah, so I that is it is so hard to understand his his unwillingness. For play players in you know, the team will play like how him play. It is it is befuddling, brother. It is confusing. 
Yeah? It is confusing our oh, man who used to play. Tapa was the lazy. Hey, you see that 98 team qualify for World Cup? Tapa was the laziest ball up on a team. You know? Tapa the lazier than Walter Boy. You know? Tapa never used to do nothing more walk up and down than the midfield when the ball comes to him. You know? Him doing things, you know? And Tapa, no, a, man, a man remind me yesterday was the anniversary of the qualification for 98. You see, when you see the footage where the whistle blow and the, the stadium erupted and celebration and Tapa run yeah, with the flag. The flag, yeah. Before even I'm the fastest that you ever see Tapa run in number one. <laughs> Tapa no run from football. Tapa was just a midfield maestro, you know, full of skill and little turn and tricks and little short pass and pick it up back. And if him get chance, he'll be kicking at the goal. Can I see him at the World Cup and score two against Japan? But Tapa was a lazy, creative baller, you know. I cannot believe. And then normally say coaches normally pick players that play like them. Yeah, that part the complete opposite of that. Opposite. The man no want no midfield midfield maestro on him side. That alone should have tell no, tell no message, brother. And, and so Tapa was here, but can't play without midfield. What is the problem? He means mean punish Ravel Morrison because I don't see why in this two game. What, what it is? I mean, no, Ravel... but I, I haven't heard about anything official, but we, we heard about the bus stop in the Panama game. You remember yeah. we heard something went down. We don't know if it's true. We just hear some things. You don't know. But my thing is, at one point after Ravel left, based on what we were hearing, we never sure if Ravel will come back and play for Jamaica. Right? Eventually, Ravel started put out some tweet in support of the boys. Again, Joe Brian, since night when we were on this one, discuss the potential firing of Tapa. Ravel put out a tweet, you know. Say, no, make no sense. You know, the <laughs> I tell you, it's coming like a Java, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, why? What you is saw it? it? You hear about yeah. it? But Taylor, I can't understand this. Why so many players? What is it about Tapa? Yeah, man. No, and that <laughs> the, 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 the player, they defend him. Why? What, what? Because I guess I'm with some other players now. Right, right. Can you, you hear, you hear me, Ryan? Are you hearing me? You hear All right. This is what a lot of the fears, the, the fears of a lot of the players is this. If a no-nonsense coach comes in, and he's starting to grade players on performances. And a lot of these guys work, they're not coming back. Mm -hmm. So this is the, the, this is the problem. Tapa, at least they know they're coming back with Tapa. Even if they're coming back to get their 20, 20 minutes of fame, they're coming back. Mm -hmm. There might be a new coach who comes in and says, We're doing things totally different. This is how we're gonna play. And this is your attitude doesn't match is my style of play. So a lot of the players, Ryan, is this alliance thing where like Tapa basically made a bargain with them. He said, I will always call you back as, as, as long as you have my back. And I think well, this is what's happening in the team. <laughs> it's, it's an alliance thing. So, But Jamaica is always getting, the fans, we're the ones getting the, 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 the bad end of things. Um, we've been hurt. Yeah, um, people, and the smash the like button and make sure to go back to and Finally, I yeah. You they already have... lost hope after, after the El Salvador game. Um, I told you, Ryan, I... And USA and Mexico. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Get rid of the little uh, The replay from those matches, whether it's the full match or the match um, highlights, they, they were there for the taking. All three games were there for the taking. And so it's just difficult to, like, um, weigh up your options in terms of your opinions, um, um, assessing where we go from here. Because if we're not put into bed the lesser op opposition by a healthy goal margin and we're not beating the teams, um, the bigger oppositions, when the game is in, uh, in our hand and under our control, then where do you go from there? So if the um, departure of Kappa is said to be true, then it's something that you can't really argue with. Like you said, it's probably been a long time coming. But as I've said before, uh, by the way, apologies for the background sound. Um, like I've said before, I'm just waiting for um, additional uh, information um, regarding the alleged... Sis, hear more here for you. Go and go, go and go relax. Go and go drink some water and calm down, okay? Go and go sleep. Tap again fire, sis. Go and go lay down and stuff, okay? I'm very, 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 very calm right now, Ryan. I'm not, I'm not too interested in whether or not Tapper is here or Tapper is, is gone, to be honest with you. There's bigger fish to fry and Tapper is the least of my worries right now. The least of my worries. Um, for me, any, any um, potential recruitment that comes in to re um, replace Tapper, whether that's the next head coach or the next manager, for me, you're just papering over the cracks. So for me, 
Chopper is the least, the least of my worries. So I am very comfortable right now. So the rest of you, if you're happy with that um, announcement, then fair play to yourself, enjoy it. But the bigger, the heart of the problem still remains. So don't get too comfortable with that news. That may, you make sense. You make sense. You're right. You're right. <laughs> and you know exactly where I'm going with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get in. I'm going to get me and JT, JT just joined. I don't know how I'm getting internet. So but him, I've been tuning in to you ever since you, you, um, you, um, you log on. Yeah. About almost one hour ago or something like that. Yeah. So make sure. Yeah, so you, you is the... Because um, I'm going to be watching. Yeah, you is the final guest. Um, I suppose to, I'm going to call Oral Chase and stuff. I'm mm -hmm. send him the link. So him, mm -hmm. him, him going to be the last guest for the show. So people, right. we're going to have Oral Chase tonight. So make sure you guys stick around. I'm going to hear. So... All right, thanks, sis. Love you, people. Make sure to go over, go over to Talawa TV, and make sure you guys go and subscribe. Please go over there and hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Take care, guys. Yeah. So JT Taylor, Jesus Christ, what man get new sister? You might. Hey, uh, I just took the cover off my microphone, brother, because it's a new era, brother. Is my phone me use connect my computer because I be an internet problem may have, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've been having big internet problem, but brother, I'm in bed, my day, and I, I hear the news, you know, brother. It's 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 right now. It's it's three o'clock over here, and I'm in bed, my day, and get the news in there, and yeah. So the man get fired, you know, brother. My youth, I couldn't wait. <laughs> I couldn't believe my youth. I can't 